I don't blame Pearly, and that's why I don't I didn't tag anybody. I don't I don't think Pearl is the problem. This thing that we're seeing with the white supremacist that she interviewed, I think it's just it should be a come to Jesus moment for our people because again, on on one side, we critique women for falling for the very shallow, superficial rebukes of a Derek Jackson, right? Derek Jackson said all the shit that women, uh, women want to hear and then they made him rich and famous. And unfortunately, what I found is that a lot of men fall for the same Derek Jackson-esque rhetoric on this side. And one of the issues that our women have with us, and I've heard women say this, because again, I actually like black women, I'm, I'm trying to correct them, is that some black men are very fickle. Some black men have no backbone. Some black men are very easy to manipulate, right? Whether manipulate sexually or whether manipulate through status or through belonging or whatever the case may be. And because of that, it's hard for those men to see the writing on the wall. Therefore, it's hard for those men to be taken advantage of. Therefore, I don't feel safe with those men. With this Just Pearly situation, I don't think Just Pearly is a racist white woman. I think Just Pearly is a 26-year-old white girl who doesn't have a deep or nuanced understanding of half the shit she's talking about and has very explicitly said, I'm doing this for entertainment. The optics of the people that I'm doing it with or doing it through are black people. Therefore, I, I see black people as entertainment. She's a white lady who saw an opportunity and took it. I blame the market. As a people, we are a joke. I'm talking about from inviting every white guy who has just a lick of rhythm to the cookout to any white girl who has a fat ass, oh, now she's a dime pe. We are a fucking joke. We talk about how the, the racist world distills us into our bodies and our entertainment value in our you know utility to feed whatever it is that they that they want but we do the same thing as well and in this case um, we saw a clearly clueless white woman um, prop up problematic black people and put microphones and cameras in front of them and after the passing of Kevin Samuels you know we direct our attention to that and to be fair <laughs> That's my same critique with the, with the Lapeef Network. The Lapeef Network is doing the exact same thing. It's Bad Girls Club for men, right? There's a demand for it, whether it's from Just Pearly Things or whether it's the next clueless white woman who might look better than her who comes along. There's going to be a line of men who are phenotypically black, but, you know, internally Caucasian who are going to lap it, lap it up. If we're talking about the Jewish community, even if... Even if anything that they've said or they've put forth was embellished, even if, just, just going with that premise, you even saying that would get you excommunicated. But the black community, you say whatever the hell you want. And we'll quote Thomas Sowell and we'll quote whatever bullshit we can find on the internet to, to, to back it up. And then we'll fall back on the whole, well, black people are not a monolith. That's why black people are a joke. That's why black people are fucking exploited all over the place because we can't even be one band, one sound. Some people say on code with anything. And I didn't fully realize this until I became a quote unquote content creator. But like, you know, right now we criticize musicians and we criticize even um, filmmakers for putting out trash. Well, artists aren't putting out albums anymore because albums don't fucking sell. People want singles. People want the, the, the hype song, even, even this, right? Even, even this, people want reactions. All right, the biggest YouTubers in this fucking space don't make any original content, they react. The biggest, the biggest channels that we're seeing don't make any content, they just argue, they bicker. So what does that, what does that say to, to creators who actually have some good shit to say? Oh no, people want reactions and people want fucking Bad Girls Club. So again, I think this Just Pearly Things is an opportunity for us to look at ourselves. Not her, again, she's just any other white, she's, she's, she's mediocre, pun intended, right? She's, she's ubiquitous, like it, it, she, she's insignificant. This is a conversation that black men have to have with black men, black women have to have with black women. Because at the end of the day, we have to, we have to decide, to, okay, do we want progress? Yes. 
how do we put our efforts and energy, not even necessarily money, but efforts and energy towards the progress that we want to see? This is how we do it. We support this person, that person. Like I said, I was a fan of Tia San Johnson before I even started making YouTube. I was more of a fan of Tia San than Kevin Samuels. I watched more Tia San videos than Kevin Samuels videos, right? Or if we say, oh, this shit is dead. I just want, you know, I want a soundtrack, you know, to listen to as the world explodes. Then yes, continue consuming the bullshit that you're consuming. Like it's, 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 it's incredible to me when I watch a Tia San video, for instance, just using him as an example, the most you'll see viewing his, his live streams are, I think on the high end, 300, 400, but Lapeef Network, where they're literally middle-aged people regurgitating the same shit over and over again. You know, Big Bank, Take Little Bank, they, they, they playing those fucking school, schoolyard games, Ant, uh, the Ant, Anton and this person are arguing and this person and this person are arguing every single Thursday. 1.2K views or viewers. And we expect, oh, the people who actually have quality, who actually have good shit to say, who could actually, oh, we need to have more um, solution-oriented conversation. But when the solution-oriented conversation is being had, those people get 20, 20 viewers. But Lapeef, who, who should go, who should pay for the first date and fucking schoolyard shit, 2,000 views. Like, 